I should be recording Walking Dead, but fuck it, they lie. What's up, guys? It's Cody here in Dab Life. Let's play some more Walking Dead. Today, I believe, and I'm sure actually, that we're starting our new episode, episode 3 of 5. So we're nearing up on halfway through the game. Um, let's do it, Bay Life. I keep saying Bay Life because me and Kirsten are we're being gay. Anyway, say so there's 4 and 5. There we are. Okay, we're playing 3 though. 3 is what we're doing, huh? 3 is what we're doing, kuh? And once again, like I always do, I record way too late when I'm tired, when I have work tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. But, oh well, uh, all I have to say about that is, um, hashtag Gucci. That was completely irrelevant. That was, that was impregnably, un unresistibly, previously on The Walking Dead. Dumb. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Bay life. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Bay life. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. Bay life. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. Bay life. I won't forget that. Bay life. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Bay life. Like Calm oh, down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Oh shit, Bay life. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Yeah, I did, Bay life. That's right. I know who you are. Baylife. And I know you're a killer. Baylife. He's not dead! Yeah, Somebody he is. Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Baylife. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Baylife. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. Because of as Baylife. As long as they keep getting food from the I feel like I'm really annoying right now. I'm gonna safe. stop. No, I'm not. Baylife, 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 Baylife. Okay. I'm uh, juicing up my <clears throat> commentating chords real quick with saying Bay Life, so don't judge, don't hate, appreciate. Smiley face. I hope I put a smiley face in your guys' face. Bay Life. Dabs. Uh, whoa! I eat a lot of jar cereal, and every single time I eat jar cereal, I burp after. It's really, it just doesn't make any sense, but. Whatever, it's irrelevant, I suppose. The Walking Dead. Coming to a YouTube channel near you. Oh, we're dipping from something. Although we have rifles and usually closer range kind of uh, um, engagements and it was, like it's bolt action. Lucky day. Makes no sense. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. What happened last time? Oh, the board up job didn't appear to hold. <laughs> oh, man. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? Ah, oh, boy. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Well, that helicopter appears to have missed its pad by at least a few feet. Call me okay, Captain yeah, Ahus, like but it's a very good observation. Over the rig into the pharmacy and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much I came a drugstore. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Well, we have to bail life this shit.
Um, this way this one's gonna happen. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Um. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot more carnage than just fucking that. I wonder if, off t context, um, Lee told There's the whole no group about his parents that in that place. Doubt it, but. Um. What's the winch gonna do for me? Way to help, Ken. Atta boy. It's completely flat. Well, that doesn't seem to make a difference regardless, so. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No, it's not. I hope she doesn't snap. I might have saved our lives in that meat locker, you know? What exactly am I doing right now? Well, I only have one option. Here, yeah, what the fuck was the point of that? I, um... Appear to have missed it. Okay, we're gonna pull the trailer. The girls still upset with you. Or the jeep. Take that stuff okay. from the station wagon. I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Ah! Oh shit. Go! Go! Help me! The females always trip and fall. And everything. Somebody help me! Oh god! Oh god! What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. That's a fucking girl. She's gonna get us killed! No shit. Actually. Ah! 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 Bit. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. I chose Bay Life, nigga. Oh, I just said that word. Hilltop, YOLO slide. Whoa. That bitch busted. Now look what you do. Let's move. Don't let like, your shoulder fall to the same. Yeah, see? Oh, fuck. Maybe shooting her was not the best idea I've had today. Great. Well, I don't really know what mess I got myself into. But I can't let another human suffer that way. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! It's dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. 
I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. I'm going hard right now. Baby, go. Okay, we gotta go. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Come Up on, where? That was so action packed, holy shit. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Jimmy, help! Still clear, huh? Can I do something? Just a whole conveniently man sized. Bandits took their fair share of shots at us, it appears. Who's she, who's she talking to? You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Brooklyn! Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you... We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. 
Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people are not safe. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. Oh, that it's was not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. You are a God, you are not nice. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Leech, give me some help. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Ooh. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, she don't want to talk. She want the D in her mouth. Keep walking, you creepy vagina. Yeah, she's a creepy one, too. Alright, well, we gotta go talk to Lily. It's Lily's room. Well, that was a brilliant observation, Lee. Way to go, bud. Really striking hard. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Oh God. Jesus, Doc. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> this this little kid's funny, dude. Duck's funny. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> I think we all were detectives for a little stage in our young lives. That's an honest truth. Okay, well, what I want to do is talk to Carly, which is this way. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. She wanted to talk about my dick. She wanted to talk about my dick in her booty. 
Oh, Nurge looks concerned. That Talk sucks. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think what you two do it. I think about you too. Not that way. Awkward. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. <laughs> you're small, what the fuck, Lee? People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. She really... God, I can't get over Lee saying, you're small, and you have that smile on his face. It was a lifetime ago. Which is only going to make the feeling that you hid it and that there was even more to hide that much worse. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. What? Don't call me small. <laughs> she wants to dig. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now it doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. We just had a moment and I called her small. If she called me small, like talking about penis, I'd punch her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No, did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> I like Clementine. She's funny too. I like the kid in this group. Duck's annoying as fuck, but he's still cool though. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Well, we told Clem and she understands. I didn't tell her I killed anyone, so... That was a soft way of telling her, I think. Hey, you two. 
How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? She's creeping serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. That's all I really need to tell. I mean, Katja isn't necessarily. I don't know. I want to find that, that glass that she was talking about. Let's see if we don't stumble on the way across. I don't want to tell Lily. Lily will trip the fuck out. She will, like, try to kill me her damn self. Crazy ass bitch. She will. I've seen her do it. Is that the broken glass over there? Oh god, this camera thing's fucking with my head. I don't know where I'm going. There we are. Whatever. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Well, that was a very genius observation. Once again. What the fuck? There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Duck. Well, we got some speaking with Clementine to do. Clem, are you selling drugs to the other people? It's a really weird question to ask a little girl. That's a really odd question, but I don't know. Fuck it, Bailey. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. I was expecting more information out of that. I didn't mean to ask them if they've seen any chalk. I'm just asking about the fucking chalk. God, Lee. Ruin everything. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. A duck. <laughs> I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues Yeah, and Duck, I got it. Good job. High five? Cool! Duck thinks you are incredibly awesome. This kid's a fucking G. More chalk. More chalk. No, I meant ah, I scrolled too too many. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time, seriously. Okay. No, 
we're not going to go over there because we are going to take a little itty bitty break. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here because I really, really need to bed. I got work in the morning. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this episode. There's plenty more to come. Season or season three, episode three just got started. So uh, don't waste any more episodes. And see you guys next time. Cody out.